Hey, this is Tim with Diesel Laptops. Today we're connected to a 2006 Kawasaki VN1600. So we're going to go ahead and select Kawasaki. And we'll go over here on the right and select V for VN. And we'll scroll down until we find that VN1600. Now on this bike we had a sticker under the seat that says VN1600A. So we'll go ahead and select that. We'll go to gas injection where we have the regular diagnosis and the Blinko diagnosis. We'll select that film strip to give us our cables. Make sure you're connected to the battery. Now on certain Kawasaki's you may need to use an AP07 with the K probe connected with the 7 pin. So that's what we had to do on this bike. So as you can see we have no fault codes. We'll go ahead and go into parameters and show you guys those parameters. Live data. As you can see this bike is running at this point. We're going to go ahead and double click on our parameters we want to see graphed. And you'll see right here where we're opening that throttle. Okay, so if you want to just go ahead and clear those out, just click on that. It'll clear those parameters out, and we'll go ahead and scroll through the rest of them. This particular bike, we were having a problem with the fuel system, so you'll see a couple failures on here. The fuel pump's got four fail failures. Um, the injectors, injector one has five, injector two has nine. So we'll go ahead and go through the rest of the software. Status, that's where you're going to find your switches. Your ECU information, make sure it's reading correctly. Your activations, now what we're going to have is a live demo on the idle controls solenoid valve and the injectors. Okay, so the engine's off at this time. We'll go ahead and run through that fuel pump. Obviously, when you hit the confirm to activate, you'll hear that fuel pump activating if it's working correctly. So we go to technical documentation. Here you have your nominal value sheets and your guided diagnosis. This will have all your error information and component information. So we'll go ahead and hit fuel pump. You're going to see your error code, the meaning of the error code, solution to the error code, and any tests you can perform. So we'll scroll down so you can see the rest of that. And all this information you can see on the left-hand side before you connect to the bike. It'll say technical documentation. You can get into it that way. So here you have your vehicle sheets. We'll go ahead and go to the blink code. I'll let you see that. This is the information on the blink code if you want to go through that diagnosis, how to do it, all your steps, your pictures right there. Okay, so now we'll show you the wiring diagrams. Go ahead and click on the wiring diagram so you can slide over the component and that'll tell you where it is and what component it is. Um, we also have this interactive wiring diagram. If you click on that wire, it'll show you the circuit and what components are connected to that circuit. You can also go to this icon and that'll tell you the components right there, the code and the pins. So go ahead and hit that and blow it back up. So you can slide over the component. It'll give you an image. And then you'll have the card information. If you click on that, that'll give you the operating principle, electrical tests, and any warnings. So we'll close that out and go to an injector. You see the image and the card information. I'll give you the device description, how it interacts with other devices, and how to test. Okay, there's the intake air temp sensor. Okay, so this is on a 2006 Kawasaki VN1600A. This is Tim with Diesel Laptops. Thanks for watching.